Hey everyone, this is Ami Diamond from Chairpoint Wizard. If you like my channel, subscribe. In this episode, I'd like to show you a new feature that we have in Microsoft List or in Chairpoint List. And uh, actually, you see we have a new icon that is sort. In addition to the filtering that we have here and the grouping that you can select some uh, column to group by, we now have a, a sorting. Now, by default, none of the columns are marked and also the order is not selected. So we will see that it has this, this icon. Once I apply some kind of a sorting, so I choose A to Z, you will see that now we have this dot. That means that now the list is sort, sorted by one of the columns. Uh, by uh, column and the order. So, uh, in addition, we see in the view the star. The star means that the view uh, has been changed, and we, if we want to save it, we must save it. So, what we need to do, we will do save as. I will give a different name just because I want to keep the existing. If I want to apply it on the existing, I can just uh, keep it with the same name. Now we see the star has uh, stopped and actually um, everything is uh, as we expected. Now what, what's good about this, that we see this icon anywhere we are, no matter how many columns we, and sometimes we don't know which column exactly is uh, sorted because uh, as you notice sometimes all you see is just an arrow and this is, uh, sometimes not that visible. Now I want to explain one um, one thing that might it does not take in consideration is if we apply uh, what happens is that we can also for a view apply um, in a classical way. That means that if we go and click on a drop down and say edit this current view we can actually scroll down and we have the possibility uh, to choose not only one sorted column, but the second one. So the first sorted column is session name. I can also apply a second one, which will be, let's say, a location or what we can do is session code. So, and I can, um, define actually the ordering. Once I do this, what happens? I see no uh, dot here, and actually I see no uh, uh, columns that are marked and no order. So what happens is this supports only one column that is sorted. If we apply two columns, then it does not show it. And actually, if we, scroll here, we would not also see this. So this is our exception and uh, we should take this in consideration. By the way, if I remove the second uh, sorting, you will see that it will again um, be applied. It will show it again. Let me go into this uh, view. I will edit the current view. I will remove the second uh, column, set it to none, no columns, I will click OK, and now I see that actually I have the, only the first uh, sorting uh, criteria, if it's ascending and which column. Um, I just want to show you in this new interface that if you have many columns, you also have the possibility that the first column is uh, frozen. That means that um, just like it was possible in edit grid view, it's possible also in uh, in standard way. As you can see, the first column is always first. If we want to rearrange it, then we can scroll like this. In this case, the column that is leading will always be the first. Let's just set it back to what we wanted. You also see a new kind of message messaging. And uh, this is what I wanted to show you. As I said, 
uh, in this sorting, new sorting icon, we will have additional functionality, which will be custom uh, order, which will enable us later to drag and drop items. I will record uh, a video specifically for that once it rolls up. So hopefully you liked it and learned something. And if you like my channel, subscribe and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.